Today on the table, I have the Shield 2.0 and the Glock 43. You will see a price split of about $33. The Glock 43 being about $33 more than the Shield 2.0. The Glock is a lighter firearm. Length, they're almost identical. Height without a mag in it. The Glock is a shorter firearm. Width, they're also pretty similar. Sights, the shield uses a three dot system. Very nice. Uh, the Glock uses a nice system too. Most people don't like it. For me, it don't really matter. Capacity, when you purchase your Glock, you're gonna get two six round magazines. You're gonna get a pinky extended one, which will give you a full grip, or at least me anyway. And then you'll get a flush around magazine, which doesn't hold your pinky, but it does shorten the overall length of the firearm quite a bit. Your shield, you're gonna get an extended eight round magazine, which will hold your pinky. And then a flush mount six, or seven, I mean, sorry about that. Which don't hold your pinky, but it does shorten the overall length. Trigger break. You get some movement in the front sight, not too bad. Uh, it does have a very nice wall that it comes up to. Here's your reset. But this is your wall, breaks right after. Glock. Also has a very nice wall. So what your reset looks like. And then it breaks, here's your wall. A little bit longer than on the shield. Now the trigger brakes are both very similar. I kind of feel like the Glock is slightly better. Yeah, definitely. Also, when you purchase the firearms, the Glock, you're gonna get a trigger lock, cleaning brush, cleaning rod, a speed loader, two magazines, and a hard case. For most people, the hard case don't matter, but if you're in a not very free state where your firearms have to be locked up at all times, then this would matter because then you'd have to purchase one for the shield. With the shield, you get two magazines, trigger lock, and a cardboard box. It's in a great shape to fit right into the recycling bin. Obviously, like I said, if you're not in a very free state, you are gonna have to purchase a case for the shield. Overall, look at the firearms. I mean, the, Gl the Glock's got an iconic look, very recognizable, and that does have a certain sex appeal about it. But taking that away from it, I think the shield's a far better looking firearm. The milling on it's got this wave to it. Uh, the lettering just looks great. The overall shape of the firearm. I do like the way the shield looks a lot better than the Glock. Takedown of the firearms. The shield, you gotta lock your slide to the rear, and then you flip this lever down, and it comes apart. Not too bad. The Glock is slightly easier. All what you have to do is dry fire it, and then there's a tab, one on each side, you pull these down, and then your slide comes off. So I do feel the Glock is slightly easier. Controls, mag release works great on the shield. Slide release uh, takes a lot of force, but it is doable. On the Glock. Mag release is hittable. The mag is kind of sticky though. I could see it getting hung up. Slide release, about the same amount of force. Your Glock, when the mag goes back in, very sticky. Shield that goes in and out pretty nice, not too bad. 
Now the Glock, you can also put a flush mount base plate on this six round magazine, so you could have two flush mounts. The shield, the mag goes all the way down, so you can't do anything about that. Neither of them have a loaded flag. The shield does have a little hole drilled in it, so you can peek in it and see if you see brass. The Glock, they use, if you look in the owner's manual, it basically says, hey, if your little knob from the extractor sticking out, it's loaded. For me, neither of that matters, but I guess if I had to pick one, I would go with the hole. All right, now which one would I pick? The Smith & Wesson Shield or the Glock 43? Well, the Glock 43 is, well, the Glock, I should, Glock as a company is a very proven company. They make very reliable products. Uh, the Shield is a little bit newer, so, I mean, they don't have the reliability that I shouldn't say they don't have the reliability. They don't have the reliability history that the Glock has. Myself, honestly, I'd probably save the $33 and get the shield. I just like the more capacity. Yeah, it is a little bit heavier. But it's, for me, at least, it's a far sexier looking firearm. And you do save a little bit of money. But thanks for watching. Leave in the comments below which one you would pick and why.